The U.S. Navy's FAXX 6th Generation Stealth Fighter Program, designed as the future backbone of carrier-based air power, is currently hanging in the balance due to conflicting strategic priorities, industrial limitations, and inter-service budget competition. Originally conceived as a critical part of the Navy's air wing of the future AWOTF concept, the FAXX is intended to replace the FA-18E F Super Hornets in the 2030s and serve alongside new generation drones and advanced uncrewed platforms like the MQ-25 Stingray. Despite the strategic importance placed on the FAXX by Navy leadership, the program has encountered a significant roadblock, the Department of Defense has deprioritized it in favor of the U.S. Air Force's F-47 6th-generation fighter, a land-based stealth platform under the Air Force's Next Generation Air Dominance NGAD initiative. The F-47 received full support in the Pentagon's FY 2026 budget, including $3.5 billion in development funds, while the Navy's FAXX was left with just $74 million, an amount described by analysts as barely enough to finish basic design and analysis work, with no provisions for prototyping or production contracts. In response, the Navy submitted a $1.4 billion request to Congress through its Unfunded Priorities List UPL, a process mandated by law in which each service identifies important funding requirements not included in the formal budget. The Navy's UPL specifically describes FAXX as a vital part of maintaining future dominance at sea, stating that additional funding would allow the service to award a development contract and prevent the program from stagnating. This request directly challenges the Pentagon's public narrative that the U.S. defense industrial base cannot handle the simultaneous development of two sixth-generation fighters. The Pentagon's stated position, as confirmed by senior defense officials during a press briefing in June 2025, is that the U.S. industrial base is only capable of going fast on one major fighter program at a time. Prioritizing the F-47 is framed as a strategic decision to consolidate expertise, resources, and engineering capacity around a single platform that is considered closer to production readiness. The F-47, built by Boeing, is set to be the first manned sixth-generation fighter in the world and will form the core of the Air Force's air superiority capabilities for decades to come. That said, the Navy's leadership does not appear to fully support this decision. In recent congressional hearings, Acting Chief of Naval Operations Admiral James Kilby directly stated that the Navy still needs a manned sixth-generation fighter, despite the Pentagon's hesitations. Secretary of the Navy John Phelan expressed concern about contractor performance and industrial readiness, but reiterated that building a capable carrier air wing for the future, one that can operate in heavily contested environments, requires sustained investment in FAXX. The proposed FAXX fighter is expected to feature next-generation stealth, sensor fusion, enhanced range, artificial intelligence-enabled systems, and potentially optional manning. It is also supposed to network with other systems in the future naval force structure, including long-range missiles, ISR platforms, and electronic warfare assets. FAXX is not a standalone platform, it is part of a broader system of systems approach that aims to provide the Navy with integrated, survivable, and scalable air power that is effective across a wide spectrum of threats. At the heart of the debate is whether or not the Navy can, or should, wait to adopt sixth-generation technology after the F-47 is operational, possibly adapting parts of it for maritime use later. Critics argue this would leave the Navy's air wing behind the Air Force in terms of capability, particularly as adversaries like China continued to field advanced air defenses and aircraft optimized for denying U.S. access to key maritime regions. The F-A-18E F Super Hornets, even in their upgraded Block 3 form, will eventually become obsolete against these modern threats, especially given their shorter range and limited survivability in contested airspace. Another layer of complexity involves industrial capacity and contractor performance. Boeing and Northrop Grumman are the main contenders for FAXX. Lockheed Martin was officially eliminated from the Navy competition earlier in 2025, possibly due to conflicts with its involvement in other programs, such as the F-35 and classified projects. Meanwhile, Boeing is not only developing the F-47 for the Air Force but also involved in other Navy efforts, such as the MQ-25 drone. In June, Boeing Defense and Space CEO Steve Parker publicly rejected the Pentagon's claim that the defense industrial base is overburdened, stating that, with proper planning and funding, companies could deliver both programs on time. What makes the Navy's request particularly unusual is that it reflects an active policy disagreement within the U.S. Department of Defense. Normally, 
Once the Pentagon finalizes its budget submission, all branches support the broader strategy. This time, however, the Navy is actively appealing to Congress to override the Defense Department's decision. That shows just how important the service considers FAXX to its future readiness, and how willing it is to push back on centralized decision making. The MQ 25 Stingray, an uncrewed aerial refueling drone also developed by Boeing, is seen as a complementary element to the FAXX program. It will extend the range of manned fighters operating from aircraft carriers and eventually serve as a test platform for integrating more autonomous capabilities. The Navy has a long term goal of having up to 60% of its carrier air wings composed of uncrewed platforms, a dramatic transformation that would not be achievable without a capable, survivable, sixth generation manned fighter at the center of the mix. Congress now holds the key to determining what happens next. Although the Pentagon prioritizes spending and develops strategic plans, Congress ultimately decides how the defense budget is written and what programs are funded. Historically, lawmakers have inserted funding for programs that were cut or deprioritized by the Department of Defense, especially when there is strong support from key House or Senate committees. It remains possible that the FAXX program could be revived through congressional intervention, but it would need political momentum and backing from influential defense legislators. In a broader context, the debate over FAXX is not just about one aircraft. It reflects larger questions about how the U.S. military should modernize in an era of rapid technological change, rising great power competition, and limited industrial resilience. Balancing innovation with feasibility, and service-specific needs with joint strategy, will continue to be a major challenge for U.S. defense planning in the years ahead. For the Navy, FAXX is more than a budget line, it's a fight for future relevance and a response to threats that are evolving faster than current systems can counter. Whether Congress agrees remains to be seen.